a rare moth from Mexico. That's what we are currently looking at. Mexico is a country with some awesome and impressive species of animals and plants, including this insect, Paradirfia fumosa, an insect that is only found in Mexico and nowhere else in the world. In fact, it's a rare endemic species of emperor moth from the Saturnidae family. And this right here is the female. This super amazing insect is found on the border of Sinaloa and Durango, two of Mexico's states. Biologists very rarely get to observe these animals because of reported cartel activity in these regions, which makes expeditions potentially dangerous. This species is endemic to regions that are controlled by the Sinaloa cartels. Therefore I am a lucky man to be able to study them in captivity myself. This species has just one generation a year, and the moths appear in July and August. Their host plant in the wild is unclear to me, but in captivity they can feed on many things, such as salix or willow tree, robinia or honey locust, gladitia and more related plants. This species has an amazing abdomen. The abdomen is super brightly colored and is predominantly red with black stripes and an exposed yellow cuticle between the segments. They use this color to warn and threaten predators when they feel disturbed by lifting up their wings and curling up their abdomen, boldly exposing the colors of their abdomen to the world in hopes of demotivating their enemies. This is the male. He can be recognized by the golden borders that run around the edges of his wings. He is also smaller than the female. From the moment he is born, the male only has one thing on his mind, romance. He wants to find a female to pair with. Curiously, the males are diurnal or day flying. Here you can see a live pairing of Paradirfia fumosa. They only pair in sunlight when it's warm and during the day. Pairing these moths requires some degree of expertise. You see, males and females usually only want to pair if they hatch together on the same day. This species ages very fast and moths that are two or three days old quickly lose their ability to find a partner and are already too old to pair. Therefore, breeders must make sure that the male and female hatch from their pupa the same day that they are paired and both moths are fresh specimens. The pairing appears to last from daytime until late evening after which the male disappears. Females lay about 100 golden eggs that can be collected and incubated on room temperature around 21 degrees Celsius. And after a while you have a wonderful little baby caterpillar. Caterpillars of Paradirfia fumosa can be raised on willow and they are black to brown with dark red spines. Interestingly, they do not seem to be venomous, despite being from the Hemileucidae subfamily, which spines are commonly toxic. It took me a while to raise these guys and so I did in plastic boxes in which they seem to be pretty comfortable in my opinion, despite the high humidity.
These guys pupated in paper towels and did not spin a cocoon at all. This species pupates underground without spinning, spinning any form of cocoon. I kept them underground for about 10 months and only then, after hibernating, these moths popped out. If you are a Saturnid moth enthusiast, you will surely love this species and the fact that I filmed them. Mexico is a beautiful country in my opinion and it has the most beautiful insects in nature. Although sadly traveling there is, be, is very dangerous for visitors because of cartel activity, especially in rural areas. And that's where the best moths are. Perhaps I'll visit it someday, or perhaps not. If my channel grows bigger, then we have some good options. My channel is completely demonetized by YouTube. Please consider becoming my patron to help me keep this channel going or donate to me directly via PayPal or LiberaPay or other platforms. Without donations, this channel wouldn't operate. Thank you for watching and bye bye.